What's up guys, welcome back to YGL Pulse. Today we got the combo video that goes with our latest deck profile about Tonka Toys, Infinity Track, or Machinas, or Earth Machine as some people call it. All the above. Yeah, all the above. <laughs> Today I got Logan with me to kind up, of give his input on combos too. Yeah, this is a deck I've been playing since October of last year. It's just I this is an, I've loved Infinity Track, so it was super easy to put together. Um, and uh, I'm glad it's finally getting its due. So, uh, without we can totally just go through the deck profile or jump right into a combo video, whatever you want to do. Oh, we already did deck profile. It does look a little different than the deck profile, though. It took out the urgent schedules because Logan and I were talking about it. It's more of a win more card. It doesn't help advance your plays first turn. And this deck plays through Nibiru pretty well already. Yeah, a funny story. Like I used to play this almost this deck uh, is this exact list without urgent schedule back back in those days because before the reprint that was like a twenty dollar card and I was just like I, I can do just fine without it. So uh, I always just like threw in more end traps and it was good to go. But let's go ahead and get on to some de test hands and some combos. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we drew the box. The box is kind of weird. But you're going to be seeing the box. It's the garnet of the deck. You don't want to search it. You don't want to have it in your hand on opening hand. But we do have the heavy forward, which is a one card starter. And what's cool is you can combo, you can totally combo while opening the box because you can put it back later in the combo. So um, opening heavy forward and dare crane is actually wombo. So we're good to go with this hand. Okay, Logan, what would you do with this hand? I would slap down the heavy forward uh, first and foremost because, <laughs> like, it, the one thing about this hand is a little bit weak to Ash, uh, but we, like, yeah, we'd still kind of power through it. So, obviously, Harvester, the best combo starter, not named Metal Cruncher. I think slap that's that. The best. Uh, yeah, for sure, because it's easiest to, to deal with. Um, so, that we can do that and then grab Dozer. And this is the reason a lot of people call this deck Dozer Control. Is because this is the heart and soul deck. This is the linchpin that holds it all together. So uh, we're going to go ahead and activate it. Well, what I like to do first is turn this into a Goliath. Because that helps me get my Goliaths into the graveyard immediately. Yeah, it works. That works. I mean, you'll have plenty of opportunities to get Goliath, but... Yeah, no matter what, you're still going to get into be rude at some point. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's just a fact of life with this deck. All right, so you're holding that Derek Crane for when we uh, dozer for sure. Oh, I'm gonna. I like to hold it for when I get into after I get into be rude because I I still have Trencher in the graveyard. I'll just bring out Doze my Derek Crane and whatever right. Trencher summons. See, that's what's so cool about this deck is there's so many combo paths. You could you could this this combo we're gonna show you is like kind of like a you know just. What matters is that you end with Anger Knuckle. There's a lot of different ways to get there. <laughs> so uh, that's what so. makes it. Derek Rain can be summoned here because, as he said, this hand is pretty weak to Ash, and this is a chain block. Yeah, so that's that's definitely, like, if I were piloting, that's what I would do. Derek Rain right here. Let's see. So I'm going to grab us a Trencher. Yeah, it's either Trencher Always or Tunneler here because uh, we are pretty low on... I almost always go for Trencher first because it's the extender. Yeah, the only problem here is we don't Personally. we don't have a way to search out Tunneler later. Yeah, you do. How are you gonna? Oh, I see what you Yeah, because we have Box in hand. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Then you'd want to go Tunneler there. Yeah. Because I, I usually uh, uh, you can search off of Stormer too, but Stormer you want to be grabbing Bullet Train. Yep, because Bullet Train and Anger Knuckle, that's your infinite resource loop, guys. That's going to be getting your cards back from your graveyard to your hand during the end phase of every turn, if possible. Yeah, getting that Bullet Train loop is so important. Yep. And since we have uh, two level so fives good. here, we're going to make our Stormer. Straight into River Stormer. This card's like Obi Raptor for machines. It's so awesome. It's great. So here we're going. To, it doesn't matter what we detach here. Get... Well, what's great about River Storm is if you get drolled, you can still use the foolish effect and then just dump a Citadel in the grave. It's basically then you've got an deck Obi Raptor for machines. Yeah. <laughs> Over after with extra steps. All right, so we got our bullet train, and then from here we just make another Goliath. Yeah. 
What I like to do at this point is I like to use the Stormer to get rid of the Goliath to summon it back out for another Goliath. That way I play around Phantasmae. Yeah, because uh, Phantasmae will let your opponent draw a ton of cards if you're not playing this right. It's just and, a smart uh, move to make. Yeah, it's seen a lot of play in the format right now. So. Yeah, especially with the, at the time of recording, Dragon Link is currently one of the best decks. VDIF. And then at this point, you want to go into Goliath again. VFD was kind of the thing holding it back last format. Yeah. Go for yeah, for, uh, yeah, really. Uh, okay, so here. Here we can either make a link to the Derek Crane and the Goliath, or we can just use special the Bullet Train. Yes, there's a way to. There's a way to play around opening the box here. Well, yeah, well, here we can actually make summon the bullet train link to in the anger knuckle, then send the box to the graveyard to summon the train back. Then we can make Dora, yeah. and then Dora's gonna add box as well. Attach this and then get the box back to our hand later. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Yep. So, bullet train's gonna special since all you control are earth machines. Then you want to go ahead and make the anger knuckle. Then you're going to go ahead and use Anchor Knuckle. Drop box. that box in your yard. Yeah. It's coming together nicely. Yeah. Then Dora, now you're immune to Nibiru. Semi-immune. <laughs> um, in this instance, I, like just me playing, I would save Knuckle if uh, they decided to drop Nibiru. Oh, yeah, Nibiru definitely. You point. want to save Knuckle your first turn. But now mm -hmm. we do have enough for Tunneler. Including the box. Mm -hmm. Well, we can put the box back, or we can just add the box to our hand to the end phase. But let's see our graveyard. So let's, we can put yeah, back let's see what you three Goliaths, and we can put back Harvester and Dozer. I like to keep Harvester in the grave for Trencher usually, but we don't have Trencher in place, so that might work. Yeah. And plus, we can always get it That's... out since we have Machina Overdrive. So Overdrive. Oh, yeah, we did. On your opponent's so turn, yeah. yeah. On the opponent's turn, you're gonna be able to use Overdrive to get out Metal Cruncher, and Metal Cruncher can just reveal three Harvesters and add all one of them to your hand. And we might draw one too. Let's see what we get. It really all just depends on what we uh, draw off this tunneler. Cruncher, nice. Okay. Interesting. Um, but we do have a hand trap. We have a. Quick effect towers that can also pop a card on the opponent's turn because of Derek Rain. Yeah, this is a deceptively strong board because, like, even though it doesn't look like a lot, your opponent is not going to be e able to easily kill you through this, especially if they're playing something like it, like Shadals are invoked or whatever. Um, so when it comes back around to your turn, you're going to be able to do this all over again and just loop these resources over and over until they just can't play anymore. That's what's so cool about this deck. Exactly. And fun fact, Nibiru can only be used during the main phases of the turn. So if you attempt to enter end phase, you're going to be able to use Dora. Yeah. You're going to be able to use Dora during the end phase when it's safe from Nibiru to send the bullet train, detach, and target something. And then also during that end phase, oh my, you're going to be able to use bullet train. Add back your box in this situation. And then box gets the search since it was added from graveyard back to the hand. We got our trencher. Yep, trencher or anchor drill. I like to save anchor drill for next turn. Yeah. See, the fun thing is because River Storm, you can basically access point. That's what I like about this. Um, this is the. As he said, it's a very strong board. Might not look it, but your opponent has to face off against two set cards. They don't know what are they, what they are. Heavy forwards here for your next turn to put something underneath Dora again. And you do have four cards in hand still, so that's a lot of board presence, a lot of hand presence. And powerful follow-up, too, with Trencher and Box in the hand. There's a lot you can do. Um, so, yeah, this this. this... Not bad for just like a first kind of mega on hand. Yeah. 
So we're gonna try another hand here. We didn't open the box. Good. Oh, we yeah. have, oh my god, no, okay. We have yeah, uh, <laughs> this is the kind of hand you look. Couple traps for like you know later on when you're ready to end your turn, you set those bad boys. But opening redeployment, cruncher, and heavy forward is a godsend. You can even, uh, thanks to the wording on heavy or uh, yeah, redeployment, you can pitch this overdrive instead to search out your citadel and fortress. And then later in the turn, on top of the uh, avarice effect that you get off of tunneler. Overdrive can also shuffle back the banished trencher and tunneler and get you another draw. So this is like the god hand, and it's also insanely resistant to hand traps too because you have three searchers in your hand. This is this is like what you want to say playing this deck. So the best way to run to beta and ash blossom in with this hand is going to be activating the redeployment and pitching overdrive. The, mm -hmm. They're going to ash blossom that. It'll be fine. You still have metal cruncher. And you'll even a heavy forward. The reason you don't want to use heavy forward to bait on Ash Blossom is because if they Ash Blossom it, you cannot summon Metal Cruncher. Yeah, man, that's what I was talking about earlier where, like, Harvest Starter, because Cruncher has that pesky condition where you can't control face-up cards in order to summon it. Uh, so if you just slap the heavy forward down before you think about anything else, you might get punished for that. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to discard the Overdrive here, and... I'm actually going to get another Overdrive and Fortress. Because, yeah. yeah. This is, I can because we have access later. to the Citadel. Yeah, we have access to the Citadel through the Overdrive, so Fortress is the better one because of the extending. Uh, so yeah, then just I would play that uh, Cruncher. We'll get out the Cruncher. If they Ash Blossom Cruncher here, it's no problem. Because you can Heavy Forward for Dozer. Yeah, we're still getting Dozer no matter what. But in this case, we can actually reveal three dozers. Go ahead and add that to hand. So this combo is going to be pretty similar to the one we did last time. We're going to go ahead and dozer. Dozer effect is a special trencher here because we do have a way to, two ways to get into tunneler. So trencher as an extender. Goes straight into Stormer. Yep, then Stormer's going to get us our train. Yeah, getting access to bullet trains are really important. That's the, I said, uh, um, Dozer is a linchpin that holds the deck together, but uh, train is definitely the the thing that keeps you going. That's the engine, right? You add constantly adding back to the uh from the graveyard uh no pun intended engine <laughs> um but uh yeah you definitely want to get access to bullet train as soon as possible yeah and now we can use well i linked in goliath now we can go ahead and use stormer get rid of the goliath special stormer okay right here in later turns that's a clutch play i always keep stormer in the graveyard because tributing goliath for stormer in the grind game puts Goliath back under Stormer and you can get another search for Foolish. So that's really important to keep that up. Yes. When Goliath is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can put it underneath any Xyz. Well, Earth Machine, right? No, just Xyz. Xyz? Yeah, and any Xyz. Part of one Xyz monster. Yeah, people were putting that thing under uh, Calamities for grind games. It was insane. Back <laughs> when that was legal. So. I actually remember um, this card under Dengersu. You can put it under Dang, you can put it under Zeus. Yeah. It's uh Goliath is like it's it's more than just link bait for uh for Tunneler, you know. You're you are you are definitely gonna make use of it if you're playing the deck properly. So people are give you people are gonna give you weird stairs if you just do this. Uh but it adds an extra Goliath body into your graveyard. Mm -hmm. so there's a and you wanna have three by the time you're tunneler. Yep. So here I'm I actually save the trencher in case I get into be rude. Because yep. if you get to yep. be rude, you, you can't use bullet train from hand anymore. Special summon. So instead, we're going to summon the train here. Then we're going to make go our little ballista. ancient gear. Nice. Then we find out what's in the box. What's in the toy box? <laughs> Look at there. It's a tunneler. Oh, we're gonna get yeah tunneler. 
we already got the trencher and we don't need anchor drill until anchor drill is a follow-up card you never really go into it first turn you only um, go into anchor drill first turn if you open anchor drill other than that yeah you don't really need it first turn turn three Seven. it's amazing yeah for sure okay so from here you just either here. you could special on the citadel by pitching uh no, trench fortress. Or yeah so fortress. fortress is gonna pitch itself no. and box to summon itself that way you can save Boom. the trencher From here, I would tribute uh, uh, the Ballista, or whichever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I want to uh, Yeah, for the Tundra. And then you go into the Angry Knuckle. Oh, wait, yeah, we got one more Goliath to go yep. into. Boom. So we, now we can make That's knuckle. why we tributed Gala, uh, Ballista, because we need to get that third Goliath out, and you don't want them getting a Phantasme draw three. Now we right. go into our Angry Knuckle. He's one angry boy. Yeah, he's ready to beat down some opponents. He's ready for the grind game. So, yeah, we got hella responses and options here. Um, definitely would go ahead and hit the tunneler so that we can see what's on top of our deck. Uh, throw back those. You can throw back um, I'm gonna throw Cruncher. Back. Yeah, Cruncher. We want to throw back, throw back Cruncher in this case because... It's just not wow. useful to us yeah. if we uh, bring it, bring it back. This hit, that draw was insane. Yeah, that was yeah. That's what I was just laughing about. That was godly. Okay, so <laughs> so you're gonna use knuckle to pitch the uh, the harvester. the harvester for sure. Bring back the bullet train and bullet train summons dairy crane. Yep, since dairy crane was in the hand while some earth machine was summoned, it brings itself out. At this and point, go into Dora the Explorer. At this point, we can still get another draw. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, you can totally get another draw, but I would almost like I said you could get an extra draw at the at the start of this uh, this hand. In this instance, though, you're good. You got Gozen, you got over, you got Dora, and and a hard, and a heavy forward for next turn. I would save that trencher because part of your grind game is overdrive's graveyard effect, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you banish your tunnel or you banish your trencher, you might even banish the second trencher. Those are important resources that might be gone for the game. However, overdrive says that you can shuffle back banished earth machines as well as the graveyard ones, which is crazy so being able to uh even during your opponent's end phase right like they okay you, we play through this hand they can't break the board they pass it back to you during their end phase then you can just go aha drive uh use overdrive put back the tunneler and the trencher and then draw an extra card before your draw phase um you know so that's that that card's really really important to the grind game as well so you kind of want to part of this deck and part of what makes it so uh, kind of easy to learn but difficult to master is knowing how to manage your resources properly because this is a very resource intensive deck um so making sure that you know how to like you know utilize the those resources the most efficiently is what's going to give you success with this deck for sure it's very important yeah so same thing as last turn during the end phase you're going to dora effect detach bullet train target anything honestly And then you're going to get Bullet Train. At this point, we're going to get Harvester back, because Harvester is a nor good normal summon, searching out another Dozer. And at this point, you should feel pretty safe. Goes in match will stop any like weird de combo deck that uses multiple attributes. You can honestly stop Dragon Link. If, once they summon Romulus, flip this up, they can only summon Wind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So once again, the the board's just like deceptively strong, just because you got your couple traps, you've got a door that turns into a towers with a pop, uh, and knuckle just getting your resources back with bolt train in the end phase, uh, and then two cards in hand for follow up. Uh, this this hand is this is this is again just what you're looking for when you're when you're playing this deck. Well, guys, thank you for tuning into the video. If you liked it, leave a comment. Of course, like the video. Subscribe, ring that notification bell for when we do upload, and come join us on Discord. Follow our Twitter and Instagram. We'll be happy to have happy. you guys. We'd be glad to coach you up on the deck personally. Be happy to help.